the strike comes with the production line and everything like that. Let's talk about it. Alrighty, y'all. Welcome back. Welcome back, man. Salute to all my all my beautiful people out there, man. All my subscribers, new viewers, everything like that. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another beautiful, beautiful freaking day. Finally starting to, you know, lose some of this, uh, lose some of this humidity, <laughs> lose some of this humidity, man. Starting to kind of, you know, become, you know, almost bearable. Y'all know how it is, man. Y'all see the title? Kind of saw the intro. You know what we're gonna be talking about today? Um, quick little FYI. Or actually, before we get into that, throw a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already, man. Hit that notification bell, all that good stuff. This, that, and the third. So we're gonna be talking about uh, strikes, man. Everybody's kind of familiar with the writer strikes, everything like that going on right now. Um, you know, people holding out, not necessarily working. You know, everyone trying to get movies out and stuff like that. You know, kind of noticing the trend, all these movies kind of dropping super, super quick at the same time. Not necessarily a coincidence. Uh, you know, they're kind of forcing people's hand with this strike. And the rumor is that we are, well, I say we as in, you know, myself being a part of the car industry. Um, shout out to, you know, Shout out to Ford Chrysler Dodge Ram. Uh, being a part of the car industry, I do think we are going to be uh, uh, affected, y'all. Um, and I don't know when, and I don't know how bad, but I gotta say it probably is coming. And what I mean by that is a uh, production strike. So kind of similar with the writer strike, everyone's going to be uh, in one way or another affecting the uh, assembly line, the production of new uh, vehicles uh, across the line. We're already having kind of issues struggling with getting vehicles right now. Certain dealerships out there I know are kind of, you know, struggling, got their hands tied, uh, stuck between a rock and a hard place, to be honest. So that's kind of what I want to talk about today. I'm gonna actually go get something, you know, nice cold beverage. Might stop at Mr. Wish, kind of see what he's talking, maybe get a smoothie or something like that. Um, but it's not looking good. Um, so without further ado, I'm gonna go get that drink and then we'll talk about it a little bit further. All right, y'all. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I tell you, man, that stuff is so good, man. Mr. Wish, man, that is mm -mm -mm. so so good, man. If y'all have one near you, definitely go check it out, man. Definitely go check it out. All righty, y'all. <clears throat> Again, welcome back, man. Thanks for sticking around. If you made it to this point so far, I appreciate it. Just kind of to, you know, kind of going to, not going to be really, you know, an eventful video or anything like that. Nothing too, too crazy. Just want to kind of talk about these strikes, man, and kind of, you know, foreshadow, maybe talk about, maybe give my opinion on what's kind of, you know, in the near future, essentially what's imminent. Um, so at the end of the day, rumors have started to circulate about this sort of quote unquote strike. Now, what that means, of course, if you are not familiar with a strike, essentially you have a group of people, whether it's a union, whether it's like, you know, a corporation that essentially uh, opt out more or less of, of their day-to-day -day work stuff in regards to getting something done, um, usually requiring more money, benefits, um, working conditions, something like that, something of that nature. So it sounds like with the issues that the production lines have been having, um, there is coming to an agreement between organizations, clicks within certain companies, I guess you could say, um, and talks about, let me get these windows fully down, man, it's bacon out here. Kevin Bacon, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna hold y'all, it's kinda hot. Um, get a little suntan, you know I mean? Um, but yeah, talks are in circulation, man, of a strike coming, so I kinda wanna talk about what the hell that means. If you're not already familiar, the car industry is not necessarily in shambles, but it's kind of getting out of being in shambles. Um, vehicles are starting to come in. Typically, you know, a, a vehicle that would be ordered that would take usually two to three months <clears throat> is now taking six plus. Heavy, heavy, heavy emphasis on the plus. Um, certain vehicles, like for example, Super Duty, you might be looking at a year, of course, on the Ford side. Um, Broncos, maybe taking a year. Um, I can kind of only speak with my dealership. Um, if y'all have been watching, and of course, you know, I do work at a Ford dealership. Uh, we are kind of in, in, in the space of 
not being hopeful with certain vehicle orders. Uh, for example, all the 23 orders that we've had for Bronco, um, about that much percent have been scheduled. Um, I personally had a Hellcat, if y'all have been tuning in, came in, uh, seven months, eight months, vehicle got canceled, moved over to the next, I guess, fiscal year, however you want to call it, and now is nine, eight, nine months out. So it, it took a while, man. It took probably a year plus to, to get the vehicle. And this is the vehicle, of course, that I absolutely had funds for. Um, I would have been, you know, kind of ticked off waiting about it. Of course, y'all know I had the Daytona, so I wasn't really tripping about it. Um, I kind of wanted to make it not about, you know, getting the fastest or, you know, a Hellcat on this channel, but wanting to keep within my means and create and, you know, continue creating production and, and content with the Daytona. Uh, love this car. Love the color of it. Smoke show. Um, they only going to make it for 21, 22. I believe they stopped in 23. So it's a limited production of the color. And of course, the Daytona. How can you go wrong? Um, so what does this mean for people who are now looking to put orders in for um, Charger Challengers? What does that mean for people who already have a Charger Challenger in the order bank? Um, that's a big ass bird. Something already scheduled or quote unquote scheduled for production. What is this strike going to happen, man? Um, a lot of times people are saying, you know, now's not the time to buy. Now's not the time to buy. Just wait. Prices are going to drop. Um, this, that, and the third. At the end of the day, man, if they can't make the cars, I don't think the prices are going to drop out of nothing. Um, you know, again, shout out to Chapman. We have a couple uh, special editions coming in. We have a shakedown, uh, slim body, another uh, shakedown, wide body, six speed. Shout out to the owner. Shout out to the person I sold that to. Hopefully you watch the channel. You know who you are. I think we have a Swinger, a Challenger Swinger coming in, and then a B5 Blue Charger Super B, if I'm correct. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. These vehicles are upwards of, of $70,000, $70,000, dollars $70, after taxes, y'all. $68,000 MSRP. So you're talking about in two years, those vehicles managed to go up $20,000. Uh, that's disgusting, in my honest opinion, y'all. That's gross. Um, if y'all kind of curious what I paid for my car, the Daytona, um, go back. I, you know, I made a couple of videos of it, kind of talking about my monthly payment, how much I paid, how I got to that payment, my out the door costs, all that good stuff. You know, drop a comment if you want. You know, I definitely share that information with you. I even share the link with you. Um, two years, two two years. These 392s, not the Hellcats, not the RTs, not the not the GTs. These scat packs have gone up nearly 20 grand uh, for a quote unquote special edition. I don't necessarily agree with that, y'all. Um, that is damn near prices of, you know, Hellcats in 15, 16, 17. I mean, it's crazy. Obviously, y'all gonna be like, you know, Nolan, obviously inflation. I understand price goes up. But I mean, where where, where, where do they draw the line in the sand, y'all? You know, just bear with me one sec. Where the hell do they draw the line in the sand? What's gonna be the giving point? I mean, if we have all these $70,000 scat packs on our lot, and one, nobody wants to buy them um we'll have to drop the price um but what if everyone wants to buy them and then with the strike we can't even make them what's that going to do for the price of the vehicles that people already have in my opinion they're going to appreciate price is going to go up so i'm kind of <laughs> i'm kind of banking on that because i'm fortunate enough where i have was fortunate enough to be in a position to get this vehicle two years ago right before everything kind of you know started to go uh in shambles more or less um, so yeah, y'all, this one ain't going to be uh, that long of a video, but I kind of wanted to talk about it, kind of get it on the radar. Um, a strike may or may not be coming. If production halts, I mean, y'all know what COVID did. Production halted maybe three, four months. Look what that did to the industry in general. Um, if this strike goes on for half a year, I cannot even ex begin to express my concerns for <laughs> the industry that I work in those out there trying to get the vehicles that they so desire um it's gonna be brutal y'all it's gonna be brutal it's gonna be a fight it is going to be a struggle to get these last call vehicles um god forbid you were able to get an order in with an order you know with a, a dealership and they got you in um with a you know locked in at msrp or if you were fortunate enough to order through chapman and we got you a percentage on our invoice just hold on to that, you know, hold on to that, what is it called, that order. Don't let it go. Don't cancel it. Just let it ride, man. Let it let it rock and roll. Because at the end of the day, if that vehicle does come in, that is going to be a blessing in disguise. So that's kind of why I wanted to make this video, man. Kind of get, get a word out there. There's going to be 
there's gonna be a lot of people out there that are gonna be, where's my Charger, where's my Challenger, where's my Durango, you know, the Scats, the Cats, the Daytonas, the Swingers, the Super Bs, the Shakedowns. There's gonna be a lot of stuff out there, man, that's gonna get halted, and it's gonna delay production a lot, a lot, a lot. So, I just wanna get that on the radar, talk about it a little bit, kinda of have an open discussion with y'all. Have y'all heard the same thing? Have y'all heard something, you know, similar in the realm of, you know, what is it called? I actually have a, a family member out in Cali kind of going through, um, you know, kind of going through some stuff right now just because of the writer strikes. I mean, she does a fantastic job, but, you know, she can't or, you know, I don't want to make it so much about, you know, her love you. But at the end of the day, it's like people out there are not even able to work and able to do what they want. These aren't the people that are technically going on strike, but they're being affected by it. So this in industry is going to be affected as a whole, y'all. And at the end of the day, all we can do is keep our fingers crossed, stay optimistic, and hope everything goes our way. But at the end of the day, y'all, hope you're having a wonderful day, man. Sorry it's been a while. Um, finally got, you know, finally got my goddamn computer back. Sorry for the language. Um, but finally got my computer back, man. So I'm able to, you know, upload some content, do some stuff. Had a little bit of hard drive issues. But at the end of the day, man, um, if you got a Mopar, hold on to it. Be thankful. Be grateful. Be fortunate. Um... You know, we always kind of seek that, uh, you know, we always want what we can't have and want that Hellcat or that Scat Pack company. And listen, if you have an RT, at this point, man, you're winning. These RT prices are starting to go up. V8s are done. Um, they're getting, you know, balled up, thrown in the trash, recycled, forgot about. Um, and, you know, further and foremost, it's coming to an end. So at the end of the day, y'all, I appreciate y'all watching. I'm going to get out of here, go to my little nephew's AAU basketball game. Um, shout out to you, Eric. Shout out to my brother, Byron. Shout out to, uh, uh, you know, Rondell Duke, man, coaching. Gonna be watching y'all today. So, again, thank y'all so much for watching, but it's getting hot, and it is time to get out of here. Peace.